So we're going to talk about progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. And this sometimes is just abbreviated as PML. So PML is an infectious disorder. It's due to the John Cunningham virus, named for the patient. So the JC virus causes PML. And the way it comes to neurop is the leukoencephalopathy can appear in the occipital cortex. And so when you get it in the occipital lobe, you can either get a homonymous hemianopsia if it's on one side, it tends to be bilateral and confluent though. And so we can get uh, cortical visual impairment from PML. And it's sometimes difficult to make the diagnosis. Usually they're HIV positive and that immunosuppression is what allows the JC virus to come out and it produces confluent T2 change that for us likes to be on the occipital lobe. So if you've got a progressive and multifocal white matter disease causing a leukoencephalopathy, you should really be thinking about PML. And for us, that means homonymous hemianopsia or cortical visual impairment associated with encephalopathy in an HIV positive patient. There aren't a lot of good treatments for JC virus. And so normally we're going to be using antiretroviral therapy to get their immune system to go up. And that's about the best treatment that we have available to us. There are experimental therapies, including the monoclonal antibodies, pembrolizumab, the PDL1, the program cell death ligand one monoclonal antibody has been used with some anecdotal and limited success, but really we don't have a lot of good treatment options for JC virus. And so you should be thinking about PML in HIV patients with cortical blindness or homonymous hemianopsias who have confluent T2 changes and are on ART.